Welcome back, everybody. Episode 3 of The Return. I am Toasty FM. And today we will have our second actual episode where some gameplay happens here with Oxford City Football Club in Oxford. Um, I'm guessing it's Oxfordshire Shire of uh, England. But anyway, we are coming up against Darfur today. So far, our the upper the management of the club um have given me a c plus and that's i think a fair a fair rating uh for us there have been some ups some downs some little bits of in between overall we've played well but i think we could definitely play better um a little bit better we actually were, I mean, right now we're in 13th place, uh, 10 points through eight matches. We're actually, we're higher up in the table. We had two losses on the bounce against uh, Chelmsford and Hungerford. Two teams, Hungerford not that great, uh, Chelmsford a little bit better, uh, just a couple positions higher than us, but two games on the bounce. Away from home, this game uh, was tough, but a, a 90 plus 3 minute winner, it was tough. We, I think we should have gotten a point there, but we did it. And so I decided to come back for this game because I wanted to play a home game. The first game we played was away from home against Bath City. But since then, we what we had a good run of games where we, we beat uh, Haven at Waterlooville. I love that Waterlooville, two uh, 0 three one at home uh, against Chippenham, two uh, two against Hemel Hempstead Town, three one against Concord Rangers, and then the losses started. So actually three on the bounce against uh, Biller K at home, and two away from home. So. It's a roller coaster right now. The problem is a lot of our goals have been from the penalty spot. So if you'll if you'll see this, you'll see that um, so you had a pen there, a penalty there, a penalty there. So we're scoring a lot of our goals from penalties and a penalty against us there. So, uh, Stephen Brown is having a good season, but I mean, those stats, five, uh, oh, by the way, I got rid of this, the, the, the bar or whatever, so I'm so happy, but uh, five goals through eight appearances, very good ratings, but three of those uh, goals, he's had four penalty chances, three of them he's scored, so that's a lot of penalty chances, and at the end of the day, we got to start scoring more goals. Now, do I want to make... I mean, well, I say that we should score more goals, but, I mean, it, it, you're not going to win a lot of games if you're if you're losing, if you allow three goals, which is what we have done the last two games. So, not sure exactly what I want to do, but I'm not going to jump and, and start playing you know, put my, my team on attack or anything. I think we can stay the course right now and, and, and see what happens um, over the next couple days. We've signed a couple players. None of them are players, neither of them are players that are, are going to play a lot of game games for us, but they're just players that are going to be a part of the team. Um, Anthony Folks, um, he's someone that, uh, a prospect for the future, um, I signed him just because I saw he was released from QPR. I thought he might have a chance of being a good player. He has a high potential. Um, I mean, according to our summary, you know, our... Um, I don't know if that's our, our uh, general manager or our chief scout. So, not great, but he might be somebody that if we keep in, in our lower... Uh, in our under-23s, he might become something. And uh, Ben Jones, um, a center back. I realized we only had three center backs, 
So I thought I need to find another center back um, just in case something happens to the two. Release from Watford. Solid player. Uh, physically not all the way there. But okay tackling and marking for, for a fourth fourth choice center back. I'm not too worried about that. 15 aggression, 14 decisions. So hopefully that will be conducive to him making up. You know, his, he's really aggressive, but he makes good decisions kind of thing. So he won't. That might, I mean, it, I don't think it will. But hopefully that means he'll make some some good tackles uh, that won't lead to penalties, which is something that, you know, we've received but not uh, given up that much. So let's get into the game day squad and let's see if we can get some some points and end uh, this bad run of form. Okay, so this will be our team for today. We have Craig King in goal, Eddie Jones, who's not playing very well um, there at right back, but... Uh, the only, uh, our only um, other player that is really can play there. I mean, Osler can play there, but Ethan Miller is is the backup, and he he's the he's the one crossing gentleman. So I don't know. That might be something where Eddie Jones might not. I think we'll play him today. We'll give him a chance, but he might not be playing. Uh, he might have to, well, so we'll we might give, uh, Mil uh, Miller a chance. So then we have Osler and Tap uh, and center backs. Tap coming in for, um, uh, more Azil, who is, uh, a little bit tired, so I'm gonna give him a rest. Jefford on the left. Wiltshire on one wing. Uh, Daniel Rowe on the other. Rowe's playing pretty well, and, um, and Owusu not having the greatest time right now, so... Uh, Awusu will be on the bench. Uh, Ek McEachern and Ashby in the center midfield. Ashby not playing to the level that I would really want him to. Uh, I think he's a better player than he's shown, but we'll see what can come of him. Uh, Stefan Brown and Ballard uh, up front. Uh, Ballard, okay, two goals. I mean, he's just he's an average, and I think he can be better than that. So... Hopefully with Stefan Brown, maybe, um, you know, playing as that deep line forward, he can provide something for Ballard, okay? Um, so, let's give him a little team talk. They weren't really interested. Um, I believe you got what it takes. Attack. Um, I believe you got what it takes. They don't give a crap about anything I'm saying. But, uh, we just have to... <laughs> <laughs> see what we can do uh I, I can't force them to like uh what i'm saying but um so uh we start off early with a highlight after just a couple minutes uh ball up to mcqueen uh osler gets a tackle in but it falls to mayuba or i i guess christ mayuba so i'm guessing a shot from mayuba that was deflected by pew if I'm seeing this correctly, so header up by tab, Mayuba. Uh, these two gentlemen up here, I'm guessing Eddie Jones, maybe Wiltshire, maybe like an Ashby, keeping him on side, and we go down 1 0 very early. Um, Dartford controlling most of the game. Uh, highlight here Jefford, ball in to row. Rowe uh, takes on his man, gets past him. McEachern, so, sh okay. McEachern scores, which is the good thing. Now, his shot, I'm pretty sure this goalkeeper tried to block it by just drop kicking it into stand Z, but I don't see what his, his plan was here. He's, he's just, he just wasn't bothered. He was just like... Don't feel like it. So we draw. We we uh we tie it up there. Uh, still, Darford controlling the game. Uh, we've scored miraculously, um, but otherwise we're not doing much. We're winning possession. Um, Eddie Jones here, ball into Wiltshire. Uh, 
cross in by Jones, falls to, uh, not Buford, uh, Bolf, Bol, Bolf, Bullard. I want to call him, what did I call, I want to call him Buford. Um, ball in here from McQueen, and then ball, oh, nobody at the back post, um, for, uh, Sam Allardyce's son, um, and goes into Christ Mayuba. So, Christ having a, um, a very good game so far. Ball into McQueen, and nobody, nobody marking at the bat. Allardyce could have, he had all the space in the world there to do whatever the hell he wanted, to be fair. Bollard, uh, takes on his man, doesn't get around him, but Rowe here, back to McEachern, Ashby, Brown, back to Bollard. Oh, McEachern, he's managed to run. Oh, it falls to Brown. Can Brown score? Oh, he blocked by the goalkeeper and off, uh, the post. Unlucky there, but Brown was one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. I feel like he should have done a little bit better. Uh, their team talk, they actually liked the the team talk at halftime. They're not playing that well. Um, so, come on, we, I can demand more. Because we're losing the shot battle by a lot. We've had some couple, but we've had a couple good chances. Uh, with that chance by Brown, I think it's fair to say that we, we, we might have been, we could have tied it up there. And, I mean, obviously we got a little bit lucky with a McEachern goal. McQueen ball in. And somebody, uh, so I'm guess is this Christ, Christ Mayuba, or is it McQueen? It's Wanadio, some other gentleman. Uh, King gets a hand to it, but just not able to do anything with it, and um, we're we're losing badly here, um, at home to Dartford. So three goals allowed again. Not very good. Wiltshire not ha he's very tired and not having the greatest game on the right. So in comes Owusu. Um, I mean, we we have to we have to do something up front as well. Um, I'm just not sure whether or not this midfield duo is is doing enough for us at the moment. Um, Ashby's a good player, McEachern's a good player, but they might be too similar. Um, we also have another uh, midfielder that is a pure ball winning midfielder, and he might, you know, he might be a better suited there. Uh, I'm up front, all alone, one on one with the goalkeeper, and nothing doing. Go into the 90th minute, and. Um, Looks dire for us at this moment. It doesn't look like much is happening. Uh, row here on the left. Ball into Ibe. And nothing there. And... Yeah. So we lose 1-3 uh, to three against Darford. Not, not what I wanted. So if you've ever been to Disneyland, you might recognize this. It's the Matterhorn. Uh, we are dropping very quickly down the table. After five games, we were in fourth place, riding high, and we have dropped. Uh, we've lost 1-0, 3-2, 3-0, and 3-1. Uh, not very good. Uh, I, you know, fair enough... Darford are a very good uh, team. They're in second place in the table. But we might have to change something up. I, I think our midfield is just not... We have Reese Fleet here, who is a true ball-winning ball midfielder. And he might have to come in and, and play a little bit more. Uh, McEachern's a nice player. I actually like McEachern not playing. Uh, he might be better suited to come off the bench just kind of a... You know, change of pace midfielder. He can play on either wing. He can play a lot of different positions in the midfield. Can play as a number 10 if we wanted to. So I, I think I might start trying um, Ashby. Because Ashby is such a quality midfielder for this level. He's pretty good at a lot of things. 
vision, passing, teamwork. He can do a little bit of everything. So it might be we might find Ashby and uh, and Reese Fleet in our midfield for next game. Um, unlucky for McEachern, but you know with with the goal he scored, the amazing goal that 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 the goalkeeper could have could have definitely done something with. But um. So yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, and also Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones is having a rough time of it. He's played nine games, uh, no goals, no assists. He has a 67% pass rating. So two out of three passes are not getting to their desired location. So Ethan Miller, despite ooh, has his has his crossing improved to three already? progress let me see crossing three to three am i going crazy or did he have like one crossing Okay, maybe you, maybe Ethan Miller, we're gonna start as well, cause Eddie Jones, he's just, uh, it's not working for you, my guy. So um, we'll be back next back, back, we'll be back next month. We'll be back next month. We'll see what happens with the FA Cup draw, uh, who we play. Um, but we'll probably come back for St. Albans City or Dorking for episode four. So uh, thank you guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and come back tomorrow for another video. Take care of yourselves.